Hello, and welcome to a series of videos on configuring the CCARE standard. In this first video, we will explain the process of gathering all the information of the devices you want to control. Then we will describe the process of inputting that information into the CCARE configuration software and configuring it for use. Let's start by gathering together all of the infrared remotes and X10 devices we will need. First thing we need to do is gather every remote for every device we want to control. Also, we need to record the X10 house code settings for any lights or appliances we want to control as well. We will go into more detail of X10 in another video series. Once we have everything, record all of the commands for each device we want to place on the CCARE. Now we need to open the CCARE configuration software and create a new project file. Double click the CCARE config icon to open the program. Now we must click File and then under File click Projects. This opens the project manager. Since we are programming a CCARE standard, click the radio button next to that and select it. Next we click the New button. This will bring up a dialog box to input the name for the new project. Let's call this one New CCARE for simplicity's sake. Then click the OK button. You will now see the name New CCARE in the project manager window. Highlight that with a mouse click and then click Open to start the project. We are now in the project window. You will notice the list of words to the left. This is the list of devices and commands that the CCARE will accept. To add a word to the project, just double click them. It should be noted that there is a difference between devices and commands. Devices are the things you want to control with the CCARE such as televisions, DVD players, lights, and or fans. Commands are the actions you want these devices to perform such as power on, channel up, play, or dim. To keep things simple here, we will configure a television and a light as our devices. That will give us a device that uses infrared and a device that uses X10 to program. Now that we have the devices, let's add some commands. Under television, we need to add power and channel up and channel down. To do this, highlight television with a single click and then go back to the command word list and double click the command word you want. Notice that the word you just chose appeared under the television listing. That is why you want to highlight the device you want to add the command word to before you double click the command word in the list. If you don't highlight the device, command words may not appear where you want them to. Let's add some more commands. To add command words to a different device, in our case light, we simply highlight light and then double click the command word we want to add. Now that we have a good selection of commands and devices, we need to add the signals to them. Join us for the next video where we will describe the process of adding signals to the devices and commands we just entered. Thanks for watching.